see white people finally doing stuff together. Good for you. So as I, was, I flew in today, and flying for me has not been that much fun since 9-11, because I'm so scared of terrorists, right? I'm so scared I'm going to get killed by a terrorist. And we're all scared of that, right? That I'm going to get killed by a terrorist? <laughs> Let me tell you something that's going to put your mind at ease, alright? I read a very interesting statistic recently that said this. Did you know that your odds as an American citizen of getting killed by a terrorist are 1 in 80,000? The same odds as you getting killed by a meteor. Now, when I read this, I thought to myself, this is a classic good news, bad news scenario. The good news, I had no idea my odds of getting killed by a terrorist were so low. The bad news, I had no idea my odds of getting killed by a meteor were so high. One in 80,000? I mean, had you asked, I would have said maybe one in 80 billion. One in 80,000 almost makes it seem likely, doesn't it? That I'm going to get killed by a meteor. Is this something I have to add to my list of anxieties? Getting killed by meteor? Do I have to walk down the street now like this? In addition to doing this? My posture is already poor. There is an upside to terrorism, though. Because, I mean, look, let's be honest. You have to look for the silver lining in the clouds, you guys. An optimist just clapped twice, you see? You have to look for the silver lining. Here's the silver lining, as far as I've been able to discern to this point about terrorism. Before this whole thing started, I would go to the airport. I would be bored out of my mind, right, waiting for my plane. Now, I have a game that I play. The game is called this. Who's the terrorist? <laughs> Here's how it works. I, I go to my boarding gate, I sit in my little lounge area, and instead of reading a book or listening to my iPhone or whatever, what I do, I look at all my fellow passengers, and I think to myself, who's the terrorist? Now, I gotta be honest, I always pick the Pakistani guy. Now, I know, I know, I shouldn't do that. I know that's racial profiling, and that's wrong, but I gotta be honest. I like to play the favorites, you know what I mean? I root for the Yankees, I think the Pakistani guy to be the terrorist. And I feel terrible about it because I'm a liberal, you know, I'm a liberal at heart. So I'm looking at the Pakistani guy, he's looking at me, and I know what he's thinking. He's thinking this guy thinks I'm a fucking terrorist. And I want to say, I don't think you're a terrorist, but I do. So, you know, I feel the need to overcompensate to the guy, you know. So I give him one of these looks. <laughs> Do, you know? <laughs> We're all in this together! You know, he's looking at me and I'm looking at him. And, you know, I'm getting nervous and I'm feeling bad about it. So, you know, I'm, I'm doing more and more like weird gestures. I'm like winking and like throwing elbows and doing like the chicken dance, you know. He thinks I'm hitting on him. The next thing you know, I'm blowing this Pakistani guy. Because I feel bad, you know what I mean? Let me tell you guys something. When you find yourself in an airport men's room blowing a Pakistani guy out of guilt, the terrorists won. The terrorists fucking won. That's why I don't think Larry Craig is guilty of anything. He was trying to protect our country. He's the senator from Idaho who got us in the airport men's room. It's very funny what I just said.